In my last video, I showed you a glimpse of this. This is a joystick. And this is part is totally analog, which is cool. Connector, and even got a breakout for it. And in the end, they're good build. We have to start by taking it apart and hoping we can put it back together. So let's start tearing it down. I think the screws are hiding underneath this. So first I'll take one out. And yes, they are. Phillips screw here. So let's take it apart. So I got the screws out, <clears throat> and I'm going to gently try and open it up. So think one jump. There you go. Now, one of the main reasons I open it up is to make sure where is ground, where is 5 volt, and how do they control the rest of the buttons. I did read some information about it, and I saw another video of somebody that did similar transformation to a, to a joystick like that. Is they use a combination of the buttons over the wires. Now, this connector on a PC allows you to connect two joysticks. So they take advantage of the two buttons per joystick, making a four button and using some form of a binary, um, I wouldn't say code, but just codes to, to show which button is pressed. So I'm gonna try and figure out that mechanism here and then uh, connect it to Arduino and try testing it out. So the first thing I did was to take this photo. I wanted to try and figure out first what's inside and if it's like the information that I've seen, which it is, it's those ICs are just end gates, so they're using the sets of few buttons and I'll show you in the end with LEDs, hopefully in this chapter, how it actually works. Now, uh, looking at the data sheet for this, we can see that the VCC is here. Let me so the VCC will be here and that's ground. So we're gonna look out for um, uh, VCC here and ground here. So let's take a multimeter and let's go back to the joystick. Okay, so from looking at diagrams, my guess will be that one will be the five volt. And I'm correct. And then probably four will be the ground. And I'm correct again. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit it 5 volt and ground and I'm going to show you the output of the buttons because they're going to show in full LED. So let me connect it and show you how it looks, how it works. One more thing before I connect the LEDs is I want to show you how simple it is. This is just a potentiometer and it gets the 5 volt and then it gets directly the wires for the X, Y, and then I think this is uses the second Y or the second X. I have to look at the at I actually wrote this is using the second Y. Um, there's only three analogs here, um, and then the four buttons. Well, it's actually there's six buttons, but there's four positions, and I'm going to show them to you. As I mentioned before, these connectors allow for two joystick with. Uh, X and Y and two buttons per joystick. Therefore, in total, we can connect four outputs or four buttons. And I mumbled something about the codes and stuff, and so let me show you. I connected the LEDs. I knew those connections will be like pin 2, 7, 10, and 14. I'll show you a diagram later. Now, note what happens when I click on buttons. So if I click this one, you can see this one got switched off. You see, and this is the trigger. I'm pressing the front trigger. Now look at this, which is another interesting. This will switch it all off. I'm, I'm pushing it up. Taking to the left will turn two off. Taking it to the right will uh, turn everything but the third one. And this will turn everything but this one. So it's a very clever mechanism that I'm with end gates. Now my next step is to connect everything to Arduino, including the analog. And I got a, a mega outside here with a 
graphic LCD and we try to make some form of an output of what's the situation on joystick. One important thing is that you cannot connect, you cannot press two buttons and some of the buttons has priority over the others. For example, this one. Since I finished everything I need with the inside of the joystick, I prefer to put a cover now so anything, so nothing bad will happen to it and again, I don't have any need from the inside of it. So let's put the cover back. Last task, fire up the hot glue gun, put a little bit on those bags and put them back in place. I set up the Arduino Make as I said I would. Now I'm getting the buttons to work, you can see it here changing, so it changed with the LEDs, so that was easy. And then I turned to the analog and I was struggling with it and it was like late night and I couldn't figure it out. I was getting um, uh, the full range to 5 volts and I couldn't figure it out. And then I woke up in the morning and I said, well, of course, it's connected to only half of the potentiometer, meaning it's actually just a variant resistor, not really uh, a voltage divider. So I thought of adding a voltage divider, which is what I've done here, but it's really hard to get it because you, you will only get a zero and then the other side will be like a long range. It's really hard to get it right. So went, long story short, I went to figure out how they've done it in the, how it's done in the PC. And apparently they use a 5x5 monostable um, uh, configure to get it triggered and then count the time and using the potentiometer as a variant resistor, which then changed the time. So, um, I'm going to finish the episode like this, I'm going to go learn a little bit about it, make some uh, experiment and then connect it to here, so it's going to be another episode for sure. So if you haven't done it by now, please subscribe, give the thumbs up, leave a comment and see you next time.